Welcome to 3D Max 5 Minute Modifiers. Today we're going to look at a modifier called Effect Region. And Effect Region can do several things for us. So I've put up a plane here. We're going to put many segments in our plane and we're going to go ahead and apply the effects region modifier. Now you notice we already get a bump here and in order to do this, this is going to be very similar to like a soft select the way we're going to use it with this plane. So we're going to expand this plus out and we're going to click on points and once we do that we have our move tool on we can click our point here and we can move it and if you'll notice it looks like an arrow and this is going to be the direction that it affects our vertices on our plane. So right down here we can change our fall off just like in soft select which will make it more or less. We can choose ignore back facing so if we were to have a box here and we'll look at that in a minute it will actually ignore what's underneath the box and just apply it to the top of the box. The pinch again just like in soft select allows us to pinch this point off and the bubble effects outside of where our arrow grabs this. Now we'll look real quick using a box, same modifier, effect region. We're going to expand this out. We're going to change our point. And we're going to come back to our box and add our segments in there so that we can have it pull. So we'll pull that up. And notice we have this hole here. If we choose ignore back facing, we'll move this bottom point up so we still get some movement, but our bottom is not messed up here. Now notice what I did here to do that. I grabbed the bottom of this arrow and if I pull it out of the range we'll actually get no effect on the box. If I pull it down close we'll get a little bit of effect and the more I pull it down we'll get to a point where it's maximum and it becomes minimum again. Again we can adjust the pinch, we can adjust the bubble, And this modifier also can be used on a group of objects. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to set up a, I'm going to use a cylinder. I'm going to set up a bridge using multiple cylinders. and we're going to select all of that. We're going to group it together and I'm going to select my group, apply our modifier effect region to that group and now you can see we can actually pull that up and create a bridge. Now if we need to invert that bridge we can just simply rotate it around. It does change the shape of the cylinders when we do that but it does give us an even pull to create that bridge effect and if we want it to go down we can actually rotate it, invert it. 